Players from across the USA and even Canada have come to Butte this weekend to play the ancient sport of hurling. Oh, hurling is uh, an ancient Irish sport. It's like 3,000 years old. Uh, massive heritage and folklore to it. So we're just keeping the dream alive here. Yes, 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 drum, yes, drum. Originally from Northern Ireland, Jimmy is one of 10 players who made the trip down from Canada to attend the Butte Hurling Tournament that welcomed 44 hurlers for their third annual games. It is a very fast, some say brutal, game on grass. It's the fastest game on grass. Ryan Mulcahy of Butte's Wolf Towns Hurling Club says the sport originated as a way to train warriors and it's played with a stick and a ball with the goal to get the ball into the net or over the uprights to score points. But perhaps the most important element of the sport is its ties to Irish culture. We brag every year on the 17th that we are the most Irish city in Montana. For us not to embrace and learn about this sport it's a little, a little sad if we don't. Most of the players on the field this past weekend were U.S. athletes, and some have no ties to Ireland. But Steve Power, a referee from Arizona, who is originally from Southeast Ireland, says tournaments like this make him feel closer to home. It's really like the backbone of Ireland. I mean, it's, it's you know, the heart and soul of Ireland is hurling. So you're so far away from Ireland, but like right here you're... Absolutely. I mean, I'm uh, what, three and a half thousand miles away from Ireland, but I'm only a couple of feet away from Ireland. I mean, it's amazing. It's it really is the fun sport in the world. Um, I grew up playing basketball, but <clears throat> when I started playing hurling, it just changed everything. So if you're running, you can hold you can hold it, but only for four steps. In Butte, Megan Thompson, okay, MTN News.